As you can see, guys, we have 16 oils that will be entered in the elimination test. Well, this is how we're going to perform these tests if you haven't seen the previous video. So, this is a one pound weight which will be applied after adding the oil to the abrasion tester. So, this bearing will test the wear. We'll see just how good this film strength really is. As you can see, there is a scar on this bearing and it'll be determined on how well these oils can protect it. So to find out just how well this works, what we're going to do is weigh each bearing on a small jury scale which can determine very fine amounts. Most testers do not use a timer. So if you're trying to turn this off with this button, well, you're going to affect the test and the results will not be correct. Besides weighing the bearing, we'll also be measuring the bearing. So with this micrometer, we'll be able to see just how large the scar size is. Now we're going to go ahead and move along to the temperature resistance test. So guys, as you can see in the 16 oil tournament, there is a slot open for a couple oils to enter. So make sure you guys drop a comment below. Let me know what oils you want to see entered in this contest. And as you can see, unsurpassed wear protection. So we're really going to put this to the test. Next in line, protection in extreme temperatures. Well, we're about to put that to the test at this very moment. These are all the certifications for this oil. As you can see, they are as matched with the upcoming oil in Castrol. Castrol Magnetex. There's a lot of great things being said about this oil as well. Superior wear protection on critical engine parts. Unsurpassed level of protection against viscosity breakdown. Well, let's go ahead jump into our test. As you can see the rest of the certifications are the same. These oils are equally matched. I'm ready to see who's going to win this one and move on to the next round. We'll start off as you can see there is a measurement for this cup. We'll go ahead and measure out just how much oil we're going to need for each test. Well, let's go ahead as we were doing a NOAC volatility test. So we'll weigh the oil before and after the high temperatures of the engine. Once we did this, then we'll see just how high the temperatures would have gotten under a specified time after weighing this oil. So as you can see, we've leveled the scale out to zero. Now we'll go ahead and add our pins oil first. two point zero ounces after using a tear this is what our start weight will be well within one minutes time how hot do you really think this is going to get well I'm ready to find out So did it bring it to a boil? Well, it looks like this oil actually fared well. Let's go ahead and move on to Castrol. I'm not so sure it'll have the same results, but we're going to find out. 
So let's go ahead and find out just how much a difference there really was. And 1.9. So we started off with 2.0 ounces. Now let's go ahead and move on to the Castrol. St. Castrol's up to the challenge. We're going to find out here in just a moment. Now it's time for the Castrol. And there we have it, 2.0. So let's go ahead, continue on. Time to begin our test. Wow, I could see some steam coming up on this one. Well, let's go ahead and move on to the next part of the test. test. Wow, looks like Castro will come out on top on this one. Let's go ahead and make sure our scale is calibrated correctly. So, 20 grams, as you can see. Well, let's go ahead and weigh our bearing. Our bearing is coming in at 0 0.580 ounces before we've applied to our abrasion tester. We'll start off by setting the timer for 10 minutes. So let's go ahead and set our timer. Now. We'll go ahead and measure our oil. I'm excited to see just how well Castrol is going to perform. So guys, make sure you definitely comment below. Let me know what you think, how we can improve our tests. Also, who's going to be entering this elimination bracket? As you can see, the amperage and voltage. Now, the heavier the load or the higher the amperage, the more resistance and less protection from the oil. I'm really curious to see just how these results turned out. And between each test, we will make sure to clean and sand every part. So, for the bearing and race, we will have to use a sanding stone. Next, we're going to use a little brake parts cleaner. Now we have Penzoil. Let's go ahead and measure out the Penzoil.
the decibel meter 102.2 so the Castrol already outperformed the Penzoil as far as the decibel meter is concerned and it would appear that there's a higher amperage needed also but will it surpass it in the abrasion test When we started this test, the bearing weight was 0 0.580. Now, let's see how the Penzoil fares. 0 0.575. Now, let's go ahead and check out the cash drawer. Now, it's finally time to see just how cash drawer matched up. 0.579 it does appear that Castrol came out on top for this one let's go ahead and check out the size of the scar on each bearing I'm really curious to see this one here we are with the micrometer so let's go ahead get this measured in on the cash drill first up. And it would appear 5.43. So we'll show you guys a closer look at these bearings and see just how bad this scar is. Next up, Penzoil. We'll compare them side by side. Six point ten. All right, now it's time for you guys to take a closer look. As you can see, we have Castrol to the left and Penzoil to the right. Well, guys, thank you for watching Nate's Interactive Auto. Till next time, guys, get ready to get wrenching for the next upcoming video.